Hey guys, it's Agumasi Tilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on AR Foundation. I had a question from one of my subscribers and the question was, how do I place an object automatically right in front of the camera on a plane that gets detected? So I'm going to walk you through that process. We're going to be creating a new script, modifying an existing implementation and making it work with the question that I have from my subscribers. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to modify the selection with camera origin. So if you don't remember, this specific scene allows you to select an object from the origin. Basically, the, the point that I have right here, it's going to show on the camera. And then as we rotate the camera around, it's going to do a raycast. And if it finds a plane, it places an object on that plane. So one of my subscribers asked me if I could do something similar, but without an actual selector. So instead of doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to be detecting a plane. Once we find a plane and it has to be a horizontal plane, we're going to be placing an object on that plane. And then from then on, then don't do anything else. You can just do and use your experience. So let's go ahead and I'm going to clone this scene and start with this scene as a, as a foundation. And we can just call this one, instead of selection with camera origin, we can just say auto placement of prefabs. Or we can just say prefab, since it's gonna be just one prefab. Awesome. And then we're not gonna have any of these right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. And we're gonna start also, I'm going to remove the selector. We don't need a selector. And then we can just change some of these instructions and move the device around and aim to the air objects and to select them i think this is going to change now and, and i'll do that later I don't, I don't think that's important for this video so the the next thing that i want to do is i want to show you some of the options here that we're going to need so we are definitely going to need a uh, air session origin we also going to need an air plane manager in this case i'm only going to use the horizontal plane because we're going to be placing these objects on a surface basically on, a, on the floor. I don't want to place them on the wall. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use something very similar to the script, but I'm going to go ahead and modify it. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and clone this, and then we're just going to call it something else. We can just say auto placement, auto, if I can type correctly, of objects in plane. Awesome. And then we're going to need, let's see what we're going to need here. We're going to need a placement object. That's fine. We're, we're just going to need one. I don't need to place multiple. I'm also going to, I can just leave those for now. AR camera. We're not going to be touching anything. So I'm just going to remove this property. Display overlay. I don't know that I'm displaying. So this is for selection. I'm going to go ahead and remove all this. Perfect. And then we can also remove this because we're not going to be doing any selection. So we have a welcome panel. We'll have a place object. So this is going to be the object that we're going to be placing automatically. This is going to be the dismiss button, the AR camera. We don't need to display an overlay because we're not selecting anything. This is going to be a ray distance from the camera, which we don't need anymore because we're going to be detecting the planes instead. And then generate ray after seconds. These, we don't need these either. So we can just remove most of everything and we don't have a selector. So we're just gonna remove that. We're gonna need the dismiss button, the actual listener so that we can dismiss it. We don't need to do any any placement of selection of objects so we can remove that. We are gonna need a welcome panel and we're also gonna do this. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, I'm going to change a couple of things around. So if we go, Let's actually go up and then do another serialized field that I know that we're going to need. So I'm going to need a AR plane, AR plane manager. The reason why I need an AR plane manager is because this one is going to be responsible for placing the planes. We already have it, but we don't have a reference to it. So we're going to need a reference to it. So it's going to call it AR plane manager. And it's going to require that we bring in a namespace, which is called Unity Engine. XR AR Foundation. I'm also going to be getting that from this component. So I'm just going to say AR Playing Manager and then equal get component. And we're just going to get it. We need the type, not the variable. So we just need to do AR Playing Manager. 
and because this one is going to require a plane manager, what I'm going to do here, and it's going to be require component, type of, and then AR plane manager. And this one is going to change. So I call it, let's see, add a placement of objects in plane. Okay, so I think we have everything we need there. So the other thing that I'm going to need is I'm going to need to do a uh, uh, basically uh, an event that is going to be bound to the AR plane manager. So if we look at the events here, let's go ahead and scroll down. There is an event called planes change. And I'm going to go ahead and look at the definition. Let's go ahead and go in. And if you look at it, it takes in an action, which is an AR planes change event argument. So let's go ahead and look at that. And if we look at that, this is going to, this is going to be whether it's going to be added, whether it's going to be updated, or it's going to be removed. So what we want to do is, as soon as we add a uh, AR plane, I'm going to be placing the the prefab in that location. So I haven't done this, so I'm not prepared whatsoever. But I'm going to let's go ahead and see how we can handle this. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go back here and look at this object. So this is going to be the action, right? This is going to be the the delegate, the pointer that we need to the event is going to be executing from, and then it's going to be an action. So what we need to do here is we're going to need a new a new method here and this method it's going to be the one that gets executed when that action gets executed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say okay play we can just say plane add it or we can say update it or we can say plane change i think plane change is more applicable since that could happen if you know if it was added if it was updated or if it was removed Okay, perfect. And then what I need to do here is I just need to bind to that. And there we go. So that should be good there. And so what I'm going to do is we need to check a couple things here. So I'm going to say arguments. If it was added, the only the only time when I'm going to do it is when the plane gets added. And let's see what happens here. So what I'm going to do, okay, so this is going to be the list. So I'm just going to say if added does not equal null, as long as we, you know, we are actually adding a plane, then we're going to do what I'm about to do. And then what I'm going to do here is this one is going to add multiple planes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the first one. So we can just say AR plane and AR plane, AR plane equal. And we can just grab just the first one. Now we can see what AR plane has. So let's go ahead and check and see what we have on the AR plane. So the airplane is pretty looks like it's oh i need to uh, i need to actually use the variable i was gonna say it's pretty basic because it doesn't have anything so but we want to grab the transform because we want to grab the position of that and i think that's everything that we need game object center alignment yeah let's go ahead and just add the transform perfect so what we're gonna do is we now have a method we know the plane that we what we just added and we know that we're using horizontal plane detection because that's what I set up on the hierarchy. So now what I need to do is I'm going to do something. I'm just going to copy some code here. And what I need to do, so this is going to be the get object, the object that gets instantiated. And looks like I don't have, I don't have the instantiation there. So let's go ahead and go into this other. And okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and just delete all this. And then I'll just type it in. I was gonna be, I was gonna be lazy, and then have you, and then just copy some code. But that's fine. So let's go ahead and just search for instantiate. That way I don't have to. Okay, just copy one of these lines. Okay, so we'll just do that. And then in this case, it's gonna be just prefab place object, which is gonna be the prefab that we are going to be adding instantiate. Except here we're gonna need to use the the actual object that we are going to be instantiating. So right now I don't have a prefab that this has a reference of. So we're going to do serialize field. And I thought this was going to be the one that we need, but we actually need to know what the prefab is. So we need to say place prefab. It's going to be our new prefab. And then it's going to be this. Perfect. And the other parameter is going to be the position where we're going to be placing. So we're just going to say air plane transform and then position and then for the rotation we can just start with identity i think i don't think we need to rotate it in the in the direction of on any direction i think for now we can just use the default 
and I think that's all we need for this. I'm just gonna say as place, I'm gonna just say as place object, placement object. I think that's what that is the type of this. Yep. And let me see what the error is here. Cannot convert a type game object to a placement object via reference conversion. Okay, so that's okay. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and instantiate this. I'll just say var object prefab object equal and then we'll just say place object equal and then we can just say place object like a component and then placement object we don't really need to do anything with this place object I just had it in there because of the other example so I think what I can do here is I can just say I'm just gonna do game object is going to be the place prefab which is going to be the instantiation the object that we're going to be instantiating from and then we'll just place we'll just convert this we'll just use this variable here perfect and then what i'm going to do here is let's go ahead and check here and we're only going to do this once so i want to make sure that the place object hasn't been instantiating instantiated and make sure that we added a plane if we added a plane, we'll get the first plane and then we'll instantiate the place prefab at the air plane transform position. And then we'll basically just instantiate that, get the game object, and then we're basically done. So at that point, this object is gonna be set and then we don't need to, we don't really need to do anything again because I don't wanna update the, I don't want to update the object. If we wanted to update the object, let's say that we wanted to update the location, we could just use the arguments updated or remove if we wanted to clean it up. But for now, I think that I think that's fine. So I think I have I think I have everything we need. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity, and let's go ahead and associate the components that we're gonna need. And I'm also going to be cleaning up the instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the. So these are the objects that we're gonna need, right? We're gonna need the air session, the air plane manager, and also for the selection from camera origin, we're going to be removing that because we created a new one and it's called Auto Placement Objects in Plane. So the welcome panel, it's going to be this panel right here. The place prefab, that's going to be the prefab that I'm using on, on most of every video. So we can just place, I just place a large object, I think that's fine. And if we go back into that object, that's just going to be the, just a big, you know, red ball. The only thing that I don't like about this is that it has uh, overlay text, but, but I think that's fine. We can just, we can just use that. Let's go ahead and go back into the air session origin and the place object it's going to be that one we don't need to serialize it so i'm just going to go back into the script because this is just going to be so that we don't recreate it so let's go ahead and go back and that should refresh here in just a second there we go dismiss button we're going to need to associate the air camera we also are going to need to associate it and to be honest let's see i'm not using the air camera at all because we're not doing any ray casting so i'm just going to remove that one as well and this is going to be very simple and there we go so i'm trying not to include anything that you don't need and this component we do need and it's going to be basically it's you know the airplane manager object that is above it and i think that's everything that we need so the last things that i'm going to do is we're going to change the title so we can just say the let's see objects place automatically well it's actually an object will be placed automatically so we place automatically and if and, and this is just going to happen as soon as we detect a plane we could add a delay if we wanted to but i think i think for now this is fine so we can just move the device around to let's see for ar plane detection for AR plane detection to work which means it will begin generating planes around horizontal surfaces okay perfect so I try to keep these as updated as I can and accurate because I know that you guys are using this so I'm gonna go ahead and go to file build and then we can Let's make sure that I don't have this scene, the other scene enabled. I'm going to add this one to the open scenes. And auto placement prefab is fine. 
then the last thing that I'm going to do is let's go ahead and put it in auto placement. And I'm going to put it in the desktop, build it, and then we'll look and see how it looks on my device. All right, guys, so I got this building and I want to show you the results. So let's go ahead and hit play. So as you can see, I have the instructions. And as soon as I dismiss it, the plane got detected and it basically placed the object in the middle of the plane. So same thing here and just doing it again and just walking back so that I can show you that it's working. I'm going to do it one more time and I think that this is going to be the last one. And I'm just looking at a different area. I'm looking around, plane got detected, it plays it right in the middle of the plane so that it's all working. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.